be better than it was. Ministry, you, you said earlier that the new take back mechanism would be better, that it wasn't open to other countries to, to, to frustrate it. Um, in, in 2023, uh, your department issued 188 transfer decisions. That means 188 cases where another country said, yes, we're responsible for processing this person, and yes, we'll take them back. Of the 188, you transferred three. Can you explain that? I suppose this just shows the inefficiency of the Dublin 3 system. No, but it shows the inefficiency of your department. And other Keep passing the book. Pass the book as much as you can. That's all these people do. They just keep pass the book, pass the book. Country said they'd take them back and accepted they would take them back and had responsibility. Your department is transferred to three. Where's the problem? Uh, no, we can only issue a take back request. Um, so it is then for the yeah, No, no, but a decision. To... The other country accepted responsibility, accepted they would take them back. A decision was made to transfer them and you transferred it three. Can I just say, see the way they keep saying we have to do this and we have to do that? No, we don't. No, we don't. It, it's The only reason that it is happening is because people like Miss McIntyre keep saying, we have to do this and we have to do that. No, we fucking don't. Those 188, where's the problem? Um, again, it's my understanding that it, it was not within... And again, without having seen the details of them, but if it's not within the time... How many excuses can you have in one fucking answer? <laughs> she just said... She just gave three reasons why. Three different reasons why. Now, the only reason... <laughs> that's a lot of reasons. The only reason a person would feel compelled to answer a single question with three different answers is because they're lying. They're lying, they're, sc they're scrambling, they're thinking of m so many different things just to give you an answer that will they hope will satisfy the question. But obviously it doesn't with most of them. Up here they just keep going and going. And, All right then, you're not going to answer that then. All right, fair enough. We'll, we'll go back in. But sometimes they're pulled up on it and they stumble even more. So let's see if she stumbles even more. Um, even if there's a bit... Yeah, why did you run out of time? Uh, six months. If the other country frustrates them. No, no, they didn't frustrate it. They, they accepted they were taking them back. So what's the problem in your department in, in implementing this Dublin 3 regulation? So if, if you can show me that they were accepted within the six-month time frame? Oh, they were. If you can you're, show you're, that maybe you're, you're. to me. Um, She's just like, look at it, and then she got handed something there. Here, read this. Read this quick. Helen, read this. Did you see it? I'll go back a little bit. Watch the guy on the right. Watch the guy on the right. And then I'll finish what I was saying. The guy in the grey there, watch him. So what's the problem in your department in, in implementing this Dublin 3 regulation? So if, if you can show me that they were accepted within the six month time frame? Oh, they were. If, if you can you're, show you're that. Maybe... There you go, Helen. Read that. See it? See it? These people are useless. They're useless. They're getting handed things to read now as well. Huh? Oh, I, don't... I, I forget what, what was the point of the fucking... I'll get back to it. Yeah. To me. Um... So again, so you can't, you can't issue a transfer decision without another country accepting responsibility, so that was done. I just want to, to move on. Um, you say it doesn't work generally. The previous year, now, Senator Ward suggested that, and I would have assumed the same thing, that Ireland would be a beneficiary of that, that we would send back more people than we would accept. But in 2022, uh, we took back 15 and we transferred two people. Um, the same year, um, Germany transferred... 4,158 people. Now, we transferred two. I accept Germany's a bigger country, not that much bigger. France transferred 3,311. Can you explain the massive discrepancy between the ability of the German... No. I think I actually seen this bit in a separate, and it was part that I was hoping to talk about. The main point of the video is coming up right now. What she says to what he just said there. French Departments of Justice to implement their immigration policy over our ability to implement ours. It's the same system. How come they're able to operate it and we're not? Uh, I can't. Um, so what's going to change with new rules? If we can't operate the existing rules, how are we going to operate new rules any better? So I, I can't speak for other countries and I suppose... Boom! So, so let me get this straight, Miss McEntee. You're not, you won't talk about other countries yet yeah, when, it, when it comes to the migration, sort of everything that's going on with the migration. 
But she's happy to bleed and get on the other side and go with Palestine, speak up for Palestine, all that other stuff. She's happy to do that. And she's happy to talk about that till the bleeding cows come home. But if it's about immigration into Ireland, no, sorry, I can't talk about what other countries do. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird, people? I don't know the overall figures that they would have received. So obviously as a, a much larger country much. with a much greater influx of uh, but it's people, not 2, seeking, times bigger. people seeking protection, you obviously have a much greater number of people that they may be able to return. Um, one of the biggest challenges that we have faced is uh, getting the acceptance within the six-month time period. Uh, yeah, no, but as I said last year, 180, 188 acceptances and three were transferred. I just want to you, move you on. You did have a situation last year where Greece initially stopped accepting some of the returns. No, but these were, these were people who were accepted um, and but, but managed they to transfer three. There you go. So, so even, so she's still, see, you just, she just contradicts herself again. She's just talking about how Italy and whoever else didn't do this. So that, that was, that was the answer for that. But you can't, I thought you said you couldn't talk for other, about other countries, Helen. Sorry. Oh, hey, oh. Ten Hail Marys saying your first name. Miss McEntee. Huh? You deceiver, you. Um, you managed to transfer three. Um, with regard, to, you said that we're not going to uh, opt into the returns procedure because we're out of Schengen. Um, would you accept, Minister, at the moment we have, uh, you apply for the first instance, you apply, you have a right of appeal to IPAT, and after that then you apply for permission to remain if you're unsuccessful up to that point. And that's where the delays are. How many people who have been unsuccessful in the asylum system, I've been refused at first instance, are appeal and have made an application for permission to remain to you? How many are outstanding as we speak? I don't have that figure to hand, but I can... Minister, they don't have nothing. They don't have nothing. Because they're deceiving, lying bastards. They don't have nothing. The whole reason for being in power is to undermine us. They want to undermine the people and tell us, no, this is what is good for you. Not what you are thinking. This is what is good for you. You have to start thinking as a European now. You can't think as an Irish national. You're a European. And then what's after that? You're, you're a, a, a world citizen after that. The consolidation of power bit by bit by bit. These people are useless idiots that we have in power in Ireland. Useful idiots. For that figure, two months ago, you said you'd give it to me when you had it to hand. You still don't have it to hand. Do you have any handle on immigration in Ireland? Does your department have a handle? Not you, I mean, not you personally. Does your department have any handle on what's happening in immigration in Ireland? I actually think my department has done... Um Outstanding work in the last I've asked of years. for very basic figures on how And they're delusional on top of that. Any, these are applications to you as Minister perhaps, for Justice. Uh, perhaps I might. Uh, there's a number of items that will be raised today in the course of the deliberation. On a now, see, you're getting, now you're going too. You're going too far. You're going too far. Don't go too deep with the questions now. You see? You've overstepped your boundary there. I invite the Minister to circulate those items to the committee afterwards. So that figure that you've asked for, considering that you say you've asked for it two months ago, yeah. if, if that's the case, it seems reasonable we would have it now. It does. So I think perhaps the Minister could include that in some of the items I, that we're looking for. I can, I can, I can. But it would also, what I also asked for was... See, that's, that's